Hi, it's Martin from Disc here, and today I've got the rather wonderful Mycroft AI advanced prototype, uh, one of about a thousand units that's just been shipped internationally. We're going to get Mycroft out, do a little bit of an unboxing, and take Mycroft through its paces. So stay tuned, lots more to come. So here's Mycroft. Mycroft is the first open source AI digital assistant. So we've all seen uh, Google Home and Amazon Alexa. Maybe you have uh, Siri on your Apple iDevice. And these things are great, but you can't really get under the hood and tinker with them. Mycroft is aimed to be very different from that respect. Let's open the box up and see what's inside. So, hello says Mycroft. We'll maybe come back to the instructions later on. As a card-carrying nerd, I'm leave the instructions till last. Nice to meet you, says Mycroft. And shortly followed by Stop! And the reason it says stop is because the software that drives Mycroft is still being developed quite actively. So if you're looking for a consumer product, as the uh, label on the box said, this is an advanced prototype. Consumer product, me, not quite yet, but I think what we'll see as we play with it is it's actually pretty close, pretty close to being market ready. Now I've cheated and taken the power supply out already, so let's just take Mycroft itself out of the box. And here we are, this is Mycroft. Mycroft is actually pretty cute. As um, digital assistants go, you know, it's um, maybe a little bit like a clock radio if you ever had one of those. I think most people's phones have taken over that job now. Looking at the back, if you're a Raspberry Pi enthusiast, some of these ports here might look familiar. And actually what Mycroft is based on is a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino kind of sandwiched together. Um, hence, you can see some of your familiar ports on the back. Because this edition is aimed at um, hackers and makers, you've actually got access to the, the whole hardware, and it'll be very interesting to see what people do with it. But I think what we should do first is just power Mycroft up and say hello. Hello, I am Mycroft, your new assistant. Hi, Mycroft. To assist you, I need to be connected to the internet. You can either plug me in with the network cable or use Wi-Fi. We're all about the Wi-Fi. To set up Wi-Fi, use your mobile device or computer to connect to the Wi-Fi network, Mycroft. Then enter the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, that doesn't seem too hard. I suppose we could give that a go. I'll put you down there, Mycroft. And let's have a try. So, Mycroft now is uh, turned itself into a wireless hotspot. It's created a network called Mycroft. And if we connect to the Mycroft network, will be prompted to sign, Follow the prompt to sign in. Follow the prompt to your mobile device or computer and choose a Wi-Fi network. Bingo. So let's connect. If you don't get a prompt, open your browser and go to start.mycroft.ai. So I put my top secret Wi-Fi password in. Just now trying to connect. Hurrah! And it feels good. I'm connected to the internet and need to be activated. Register me at home.mycroft.ai with the code H as in hotel. C as in Charlie. R as in Romeo. A as in Apple. T as in Tango. 4. Well, that seems like kind of a good idea, so let's do that. 
I'm going to shove you out of the way there, Mycroft, so we can get you all registered. So here's some devices. Let's put our registration code in. So HCRAT4. We've got a Mark 1. What should we call it? Well, I'm going to call it MORERT. Which, if you're a I'm Sherlock connected Holmes to fan, the internet you'll know why. and need to be activated. Register me at home.mycroft.ai with the code H as in hotel, C as in Charlie, R as in Romeo, A as in Apple, T as in Tango, 4. Let's pair. Hey, Ma now I am ready for use. Hey, Mycroft. What's the weather? Try asking me things like, hey, Mycroft, what's the weather? Hey, Mycroft, tell me about Abraham Lincoln. Or, hey, Mycroft, play the news. Hey, Mycroft. What time is it? It is 1.19 p.m. Hey, Mycroft. How far is it from the Earth to the Moon? Is it from Earth to Moon far to 26209 miles? Hey, Mycroft. How fast does the Earth rotate? Does Earth rotate fast 1.002737 rev slash day revolutions per day equatorial? Hey Mycroft, tell me about sandwiches. Okay, I am searching for sandwiches. A sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese or meat, placed on or between slices of bread, or more generally any dish wherein two or more pieces of bread serve as a container or wrapper for another food type. I'm so glad we cleared that up. The sandwich began as a portable finger food in the Western world, though over time it has become prevalent worldwide. So now we've got Mycroft up and running. Yes, I am talking about you. Or should I say Moriarty? Let's see what kind of things we can do with it. So if I zoom in a little bit here, maybe you can see there's some basic skills, things that are just uh, available. We can switch things on and off. Mycroft also knows I can see this is going to be fun. I'm afraid I couldn't understand that. It also knows how to talk to media services and everything from uh, Spotify to Google Chromecast. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do there. It's got some Internet of Things skills and it can talk to connected home devices. And what I'm personally most curious about is Pong. But what's really interesting for me is unlike Alexa, Cortana, Siri and Google Home, the core of Microsoft, the, the whole, yes I know I am talking about you, is open source. Now this is the whole point of the project is it's something that you can tinker with, something you can take apart and redevelop and do your own thing with. And if we look at GitHub, Here's a whole bunch of Mycroft stuff. Yes, I did mention your name. Thank you. Um, you get the code, you can change it. You can make it do what you want. And in particular, a whole lot of people have already started sharing skills, which are essentially this is how Mycroft, yes, you, learns how to do things. So you can 
grab these, you can copy them and you can play around with them. You can see there's quite a few of them. So it'll be very interesting to see what people do with them. I'm looking forward to that. Hey Mycroft, sing. I'm a bit nervous about my voice. She goes nine banks last night, pre flight. Zero hour, nine a.m. On such a timeless flight. I miss the earth so much, I miss my wife, it's lonely out in space, rocket man. I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again To find I am not the man They think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out his fuse up here alone Now you try <laughs> So I've had a little bit of a look at our little friend here. What I didn't tell you was if you push and hold a button on the top down you can cycle through uh, some settings like reboot and you can change your Wi-Fi settings, you can change the brightness and a few other things. You can even, and this is good for for the, the nerd in all of us, you can even enable a remote uh, SSH command shell so you can SSH into this uh, teeny tiny Linux system which is quite good fun. Um, but because it's meant for makers and tinkerers, then actually there's something else we can do, which is to flip the lid off. So let's see if we can do this now. So what's inside? What's inside Mycroft? Well, there you go. Mycroft has an Arduino. There's a Raspberry Pi hiding underneath this, this rather large custom board. And you can actually get in there and you could tinker a little bit with this yourself. As a trainee maker, you might say, well, actually, maybe I prefer to connect something to one of the pins on the back. So maybe a camera um, would be an interesting accessory. Maybe you want to just plumb it into your stereo. Maybe you want to connect it to a TV or a monitor. But you can, because it's open hardware, you can get in there and you can change stuff and try and find another system where you can do that. And you'll be looking for a long time. So that's enough from me. Bye for now. Glad to be of service.